Hi guys, welcome to the Instrument 01 review. Um, before I get into the, the watch review itself, I thought I'd just speak about the reasons for, for buying this, this watch. And, you know, people buy watches for different reasons and I bought mine because you know, it was you know, a personal decision. Uh, um, for example, the watch is made in Scotland and was designed and conceived by two Scottish guys. Um, and I actually used to live in Scotland, just in a town outside of Glasgow called Hamilton. And um, I wanted something to sort of remember Scotland by. Um, and I thought, what better way to do it than to get a watch? And another reason was all my ancestry is obviously Scottish as well. And I thought, uh, you know, it's great to, to keep that sort of uh, heritage going, even if it's through uh, materialistic. Uh, Pieces. The other reason I really like this watch is because of the design and I'll touch more on that um, in a little while. We have a look at the box that uh, the instrument no one comes in, it's very clean, very neat and minimal, um, very very minimal. Let's just open it up here and show you what's in the box. You can see it comes with this little placard and on the reverse side of this here I'll just give you a few instructions on how to actually set up the watch. Thank you for purchasing the watch um, and a link to to those uh, instructions. As you can see, places for the, the straps and it actually comes with this really, really neat um, spring rod tool, which um, I must say that I, I use on all my watches. It's, it's really nicely machined, easy to grip, um, well finished. And then uh, this little test tube here, which is a really nice little concept and idea. With this uh, silicon stopper comes with a, a spare spring bar, which is really cool as well. So let's jump onto the watch and have a look. So as you can see, it's very sterile or minimal design, whatever you want to call it. Um, as you can see, there, it's just got the, the minute and hour hand, the second, and the date at the three o'clock position. Um, I really, really like this design simply because there's nothing out there, well, at the time that was doing anything like this, um, the stark minimalism. And um, it also takes me back to when I was a kid um, listening to uh, tapes and watching those VU meter needles and uh, those instruments. And that's something I've really, you know, it, it takes me back. So, apart from this uh, dial, you can see on this case here. It's all, uh, I think it's, um, it's all brushed steel, yeah. And you can see even on the crown there, um, the only way to identify this watch as an instrument I want is just this case back here. And as you can see, really, really nice, um, nicely brushed and the screws to, to get at the, at the movements. And as you can see from the tick, it's obviously a quartz movement. It's a Ronda 5853H movement. And I don't remember the last time I've actually had to set the time on it's, it's really, really accurate, as you'd expect from quartz. Um, you can see, I think it's yeah, 40 millimeter um, in diameter, 20 millimeter lug, lug width, and um, you can just see how sharply these lugs curve down. It's really, it's just finished really, really well. Um, and the strap, I must say that this has got to be probably the best strap that's come standard with any watch that I've ever purchased. Purchased um, Its construction quality is just impeccable and you can see it's branded there on the back. Um, instrument over there. Um, it's just really, it's so soft and I'd advise you just go have a look at my website and watch the video or on the instruments on the, on the construction of these straps. Um, I believe they, they're handmade in Germany from I think Italian calf leather. Just uh, double check on that fact. Um, so the other nice thing about this watch is that it ha comes with this sapphire crystal um, glass so there's no scratching it. Now, I really really like that. To get the sort of quality craftsmanship design and uh, the quality of the components as well it's everything that I look for in a watch. Swiss made movement, uh, clean simple design, well made and high attention to detail. You can see on the buckle again even no branding here just on the, the brush surface and um, 
yeah i really like this watch uh, let me just pop it on here so you can have a look um the one thing that i really do want to see from instrument uh, i was actually hoping they would do it with the, the model 2 uh, or o2 was to have a um an automatic maybe an eta 24 uh 2824 2 i think that would make it you know to me it would be the perfect watch for for what they're attempting to do so let's just get this through the loop there i've got really really small wrists but i mean i just think it fits it just works so well um sleek enough to just let shirts jackets and jerseys slide right over and um as i was saying about those lugs you can really see how they they curve down really nicely so you know as a unisex watch as well i think they've hit the nail on the head with this one it's, it's construction finish um accuracy of the watch and movement um to me it's just fantastic um i believe they have to for example take out the the dates the date wheel and, and change it out um to get this this finish and i, I really think that to go for all that extra um, work uh, to get this finish is just it's just brilliant. I must say that um, this watch, because of its almost overstated understatedness, gets the most uh, compliments from from passers by. They say, "Sure, that's a nice watch. Where'd you get that?" Um, so I'm always happy to to pass them along into instrument. And uh, I must say that I've dealt with them uh, on a on a very uh, small basis, but um, Quick responses, great feedback, um, very helpful uh, from the, the, the team and instrument there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the watch. Um, value for money, I'll give it a, a nine, nine, possibly 10 out of 10. Uh, finish and construction, uh, 10 out of 10. And um, after sales service, also 10 out of 10. So yeah, that wraps up this review. Thanks for watching, cheers.